Ah, cool. So this is me. Um, what does a digital project manager do? So this is going to be a window into my world. Brace yourselves. So projects start with people. So there's me in the middle. I'm trying to juggle lots of different people. So it's not quite come out as well. So I've got accounts team. So they're kind of account managers, account execs, directors shouting at me saying, oh, when's this going to be done for? When can we get this done? Um, suppliers, so we work with a slightly different model where we don't have in-house designers or developers. So it makes my role as a project manager slightly more uh, complex and challenging where we then brief out our network of freelance suppliers, you know, so developers, designers, illustrators, all kinds of people. So I've then got to match the right project to the right supplier while also managing client expectations. So again, they might want something quickly. Well, how quickly can I mobilize a supplier? And also the nagging thing that's always in the back of your mind around finance. So it's not just about keeping you know, the accounts, clients and suppliers happy, but also trying to make uh, our FD happy as well. So there's lots of people trying to balance at any one time. So a little bit of an insight into the lots of people, which also leads me on to relationships. So the little kind of clue there is the piggy in the middle, uh, which is me all the time. So again, trying to keep people happy, juggling kind of conflicts, resolutions, deadlines, all that kind of thing. Organiser, so again, little Miss Organise in the middle, so always trying to think ahead, looking, particularly with my role and the way that we work, it's not just around being able to turn to my colleague and say, can you get started on this? It's, you've always got to think ahead, like two, three steps, like, okay, well, if we're going to have client amends, we have to review it, and then also we've got to give those amends to our partner to do, and how long can they get it back? So particularly when you're working with some freelancers, they don't always tell you when you're going to be away on holiday. So you can't just think, okay, well, if I've got an in-house team, if Dave's off, like somebody else can cover. So you've got to be constantly thinking about all these different things. So that's my little Miss Organizer role. Juggling. So again, while well, you've got all these different uh, clients, suppliers, everyone that you're trying to manage, uh, you've also got to manage multiple projects. So Again, some of them can be longer term projects, so say like a website design and development, it can be looking at three, four, five months, in amongst small little bitty projects. So we do a lot of email marketing for clients, so again, they can kind of come in within two days and you've got to be able to turn around it, like get it all kind of coded up, like typeset, everything else dropped in, and then get that batched out. So you've got varying demands that you know, clients say they won't come, will come back with feedback on such a day, and then the one day they decide to come back, you've got something else going on. So You've got to be really kind of adaptable and flexible that as and when things come in, you've got to drop and move on to something else. So I'm kind of getting quite good at kind of keeping a few balls up in the air, which with the name Rachel Ball was always quite, <laughs> quite a kind of funny one to play on. Empathy. And this is something that I'm really starting to learn in the last kind of two or three years of working in kind of digital and tech, that particularly with a lot of clients that don't have that same knowledge that we just take for granted, you'll be like, okay, just refresh the page. It's not working. It's like, oh, you just need to like, refresh your browser. Sorry, what? Like, you have all these conversations with people that they just, we, simple things that I take for granted that your clients, you just got to explain it to them that sometimes, you know, unless you're there with them, you just can't see what the, what the problem is. And we find even more so with browser technology as well. Again, the client's like, oh, this looks awful. It's like, well, I'm on Chrome. Like, what are you on? Oh, IE 7 or something. It's like, oh, for God's sake. So, these little things, like, it, for me, it illustrates the point beautifully. Like, I'm there, I can see a six, it's a six, it's a six. And like, they're like, it's a nine. And you know, it's like, until you kind of take that step back and think, okay, how else is, what else is going on here? And as a project manager, that's something that I'm having to learn and I'm growing all the time, that just questioning and probing and not being quite as uh, bombastic as I used to be. Like, well, this is the only way. So slowly trying to be a little bit more, uh, empath have a bit more empathy with my of suppliers and partners and clients. Communications is obviously massive. Again, thinking about all those little cogs in the picture. If, say, for example, me at the start, you know, I get a bit kind of uh, uh, over ambitious with how, some, how quickly something can get turned around. If I don't build in that time and communicate to you know, suppliers when I need things, to the clients when we want the feedback, that one little, those little bits of slippage at each step of the project, before you know it, that kind of three month project can turn into a six month project. So having regular updates and I think even more so with technology now we can sometimes just default to you know email and just keeping it all online but sometimes again just having those regular conversations and speaking to people can just help kind of resolve any kind of conflicts and confusion and yes it can be a bit more challenging and you might be wor worrying so 
I'm finally timing, um, which maybe I might be not doing so all the time now. <laughs> had 10 seconds. So again, project manager, live by plans, and this is kind of what my day can look like. Head in a spreadsheet, lots of different things, but there's some great technology out there that can really help. Trying out Smartsheet at the moment, that's great. And there we go, there's a window to my life. Juggling. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much there, Rachel. Uh, we, we